This video, friends, is a what sold video. So if you want to know what is selling on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and Depop, stay tuned. Hey friends, I am back with another What Sold video. I am Stephanie with Three Queens Resale and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining and if you are a reseller bestie, thank you for your support and showing up and helping be a part of my positive reseller community here on YouTube. We are working on getting monetized. And so what soul videos are some videos that you guys seem to like. So thanks for watching. Please watch all the way through or listen all the way through while you're working. And I'll give my action tips for next week at the end. So here we go with Sunday, November 19th. Um, it started off with this eBay sale. We have this BDG women's plaid shirt size large. It sold for $15 plus the $9.65 shipping after the $4.44 in fees. I was left with 2021. I do have to back the shipping out of that and I don't know how much we actually paid for shipping because my husband takes care of that and I did not look it up. Sorry, but you get a kind of a ballpark figure. Next up was this torrid ankle boot, size 11 and a half. It was a wide width. It sold on November, or it's been listed since November 3rd. It sold for 20 plus $11.80 in shipping. Um, after the $5.73 in fees, we made $26.08. Plus, we have to back out. I know priority shipping out of that. So we probably made about $19, $18. Next up on June, uh, next up, these Clark Mary Janes have been listed since June 10th. They sold for $15 on Depop. And after the fees of $2.84, we made $12.16. And also on Depop, um, this Karen Scott Cardigan sweater had been listed since July 17th. It sold for $15. It had $2.69 in fees, and um, we were left with $12.31. So it's odd that I have a day with no Poshmark. eBay and Depop are my lowest performing platforms, and that's all I had on Sunday. But I'll take it, friends. So for those four items, the total was $70.76. Average sale price was $14.69. Next up on Monday, November 20th, we had six sales. First up was this Lululemon Wonder Under Black Size 4. They had been listed since November. I had been trying to sell them on auctions but they are listed as well. I have since taken all Lululemon off of auctions except for the ones that I put in my dollar auction on whatnot, um, just because they weren't really moving on auctions and I've just moved to a different style of auction. But um, they sold on Poshmark for $24 after the $4.80 in fees and the $2.02 .02 shipping discount, I was left with $17.18. Then on Poshmark, this Vineyard Vines Gingham Harbor shirt size 6 sold. This has been listed since October 3rd. It sold for $46. So, yes, girl. Um, after the fees of $9.20 and the $2.02 .02 shipping discount, I was left with $34.78. And just... Um, for average, our cost of goods is like currently right at like a dollar twelve. So kind of figure that in when you're thinking. I don't do it per item like other people do. I just look over, do it across our whole inventory. Um, next up, we had this Zara turtleneck sell. It was um, a size large. It sold on Poshmark. For $10, after the $2.95 in fees, we were left with $7.05, and that had been listed since March 23rd. 
Next up on Poshmark, I had this swimsuits for all one piece. It had been listed since June 6. I thought it would go in summer, but here it is going in late November. It sold for $20. After the $4 in fees, I was left with $16. Then on eBay, we had this Lands in sleeveless linen midi dress. It sold for twenty dollars plus the ten dollar, the ten dollar and twenty cents in shipping. Um, after the five dollars and forty four cents in fees, we are at twenty four seventy six. But once again, I do need to back that priority shipping. I think that was about eight dollars out of that, so that leaves me with around. Hmm, Let's see, 20, about $16 for that. That was a size 1X. Then on eBay, on, and that had been listed September 10th. Then on eBay, this dress had been listed since October 24th of 2022. So over two years. So friends, things do sell. If you find a good pickup, sometimes things just have to sit for the right buyer. But this test sheet, Tashidi Collection Black Dress sold for $40 on eBay with $9.65 in shipping. After the $8.94 in fees, I was left with $40.71. And once I back out that priority shipping, I'm at $32. So I was super excited with that. The six items total come to $139.88 with an average sale price of $23.31. Moving on to Tuesday, November 21st. Flip the book over here. First up, we had eight sales, and we'll go through Poshmark first. These Jack Roberts Bailey uh, boot, it was a brown size seven. And it sold for $24 after the $4.80 and the $2.02 shipping discount. I was left with $17.18 and that had been listed since September of 2022. So over two years, another 20, we're moving out the stuff. Um, next up were these bear paw boots, gray size eight. They sold for $24 as well. $4.80 in fees, $2.02 shipping fee, $17.18 profit from me. Those have been listed since June 6. Next up was this Anthro Moth sweater in yellow size medium. Um, Moth is not one of the Anthro brands that sells really well for me, but I do pick up all Anthro brands, even the lesser known. Um, because I just don't know much about which ones are like the high end and which ones aren't. But this sold for $12 and after the $2.95 in fees, I was left with $9.05 and that had been listed since August 23rd. And as you guys know from all the haul videos, I'm a big bins shopper so I get a lot of stuff from the Goodwill bins but I do source at consignment shops as well and I do believe that came from a consignment shop. Next up were these Levi's 501 new with tag high rise jeans. They were size 28. They had been listed since October 3rd. They sold for $22 and after the $4.40 in fees I was left with $17.60. Then we sold this Free People Jordan tee. It sold on Poshmark for $12. After the $12.95 in fees, I was left with $9.05. And that was listed since October 2nd, 2022 as well. So over two years that I almost, no, almost two years that I've had that. Well, no, just over a year. Um, Next up. A Macari, we had these Mark Fisher Locket Black Knee Boots, size 8. These were a quick seller. They so have been listed since November 3rd. They sold for $47. After the $6.79 in fees, I was left with $40.21. Then on eBay, we've been like bouncing back on eBay. I'm so excited. We sold this Gap Woman's Crop Jacket. It had been listed since October 3rd. 
it sold for $18 and after the $4, well, $18 plus $9.65 in shipping. After the $4.98, I made $22.67 and then we have to back out our priority shipping, which I average at about $8. So, choo, 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 12, 13, about, made about $15 on that jacket. Next up on November, no, on Tuesday, we sold this vintage Levi's denim shirt. Um, it had been listed since November 7th. So as you guys know, I do low star auctions on whatnot, one, $2 starts. And so I have this um, prepped for an auction. And for some reason, the tag just looked different. So I took out my camera and I Google lensed it like I, you know, like I've done in other videos and all these vintage like Levi's denim shirts started coming up. Some selling for over a hundred. So I was super excited. Of course I listed it. I did not put it in my one to $2 start show, but um, I sold for $40 on Depop, $40 and 80 cents because I was running a sale. I am over the moon with that. <laughs> and after the $6 and 20 cents in fees, I was left with $34 and 60 cents. For those eight sales, I made $160.87 with an average sale price of $20.11. Next, on Wednesday, November 22nd, we had two sales. The first was on, they both were on Poshmark. The first was this Victoria's Secret Angel Wing Hooded Sweatshirt. It sold for $13, and after the $2.95 in fees, I was left with $10.05, and that had been listed since June 17th. Then on, also on Poshmark, we sold these J. Jill Linen Stretch Pant Blue Size 2X. This is a, like, uh on Stephanie. Early on, like the day after I listed these, I got like a... $20 offer and I did not take it. These sold for $9, friends. So long story short, I ended up taking an offer for $9, um, which is less than half of what I was offered like that day. Then um, I only made, after $2.95 in fees, I was left with six oh five. dollars So moral to the story is take the offers. <laughs> that's all I can say about that next up oh our Wednesday total for those two items was 16.10 and the average sell price was 805 so it's not the best day but Wednesdays are typically a little slower if I don't send out offers then Thursday November 23rd we had two sales also on Poshmark this Ashley Stewart midi dress size 22 Sold for $11 after the $2.95 fees. I was left with $8.05. And that had been listed since July 13th. Then we have this Fartley Palm Tunic Chambray size extra large. It had been listed since May 25th. And I had gotten lots of like $15, $18 low balls on this. But uh, it sold for $35 after the $7 in fees. I was left with $28.00. And so for those two items, my total was $36.05, and I was left with $18.03. Moving on to Friday, November 24th, we had two sales on Poshmark. First was this Lululemon Wonder Under Legging Size 2. They sold for $19 after the $3.80 in fees. I was left with $15.20. I mean, I remember when you could easily get $50 for Lululemon. It's just not there anymore, friends. And then on Poshmark were these Play Martin Tourmaline Quartz uh, sneakers, size 9.5. They had been listed since July 10th. They sold for $26 after the $5.20 in fees. I was left with $20.80. So for those two items, I made $36. So average sale price of 18 then sunday we had but not sunday saturday we ended the week with seven sales 
First up was this Nike Dry Fit Athletic Short Size Medium. It sold for $16. After the $3.20 fees, I was left with, and the $2.02 .02 shipping discount, I was left with $10.98. Then on Poshmark, also, I sold this Lululemon Scuba Jacket. It had been listed since August 23rd. It sold for $22.40, and I made $17.60. I think it was a size 2 or 4. It was a smaller size. If you want to make money on Lululemon, friends, it's got to be larger sizes. There's just so much of it out there. Um, like I said about the leggings, I remember when you could easily for get $50 for Lululemon pieces, and it's just not the same. Next step were these Jamie Sadok ankle pant gray size 14. These sold for $14. After the $2.95 fee, I was left with $11.05, and they had been listed since September 20th of 2022. If you're wondering how I can track listing of items, I use a platform, a inventory management cross-listing platform called List Perfectly. And if you are list interested in List Perfectly, I will link my video up here about how I use List Perfectly. And in the description, I will put a link for a discount. I can't remember how much it is off of your first purchase of List Perfectly, and you can give it a try too. I absolutely love it. I've been using it since, I think, early 2022 um, when it first kind of came out and I think it came out in 2022 so I absolutely love it and it has been um, instrumental in me keeping management of our inventory especially when I lost my original spreadsheet earlier this summer being able to look up um, things that way as well. Next up on Poshmark was this James Tattersall men's quarter zip sweater it sold for $23 after $4.60 in fees and $2.02 and two cents in shipping discount. I made $16.38. And then on Poshmark, I sold this Carmen Mark Volvo sequin skirt. Um, it sold for $16 after the $3.20 in fees. I was left with $12.80. And that had been listed since July 3rd of 2022 as well. And so that's the benefit of me having that large inventory space and patience. I can hold on to things um, and give them a, over a year to sell. A year and a half, two years, three years <laughs> in some cases. Um, we are. I am going through doing like a little purge of things um, for our dollar shows. But we still have plenty that we're keeping around. Next up was this Bantu two-piece coat dress, coat and dress size six. So this has a story. This was my mother-in-law's, um, and then she gave it to a girlfriend of mine, and then that girlfriend of mine gave it back to me um, to resell. So my mother-in-law, um, both of my mother-in-laws are deceased. I had my husband had a mom and a stepmom, and they actually passed away within um, six months of each other. So. I got a lot, I got all of their pieces to resell, but, um, this coat, um, coat and dress set, my mother-in-law went way years ago when she was healthy and, and strong before the pandemic, um, gave this to a friend of mine and who looked gorgeous in it. And I, it's great to see her in pictures of it wearing it and then she gave it back to me so it's it's made it has had three life cycles now and now it's great to see it going on to another person um i let it go for 30 dollars. she got a steal of a deal um that day i wasn't feeling sentimental so i could let it go for 30 but it um after the six dollars in fees um it i made 24 dollars, and that had been listed since may 6th and then next up, the last sale of the week was this Lynette Lepore sweater. It sold for $16.80. After the $2.95 in fees, I was left with $13.85. And that sold on Depop. And the total for Saturday was $119.26. 
for those seven items and we had an average sale price of $17.03. Okay, I am back with the numbers. So, on, let's see how we want to do this. So, our goal, I'll just give you guys, like, um, the goals, like I normally do in last week versus this week. So, the goal is 30. Last week, we sold. <coughs> excuse me 30 items sold last week we sold 30 this week we sold 31 so we're up um we're up from last week with 39 percent um this the average sale price is still 20 um last week we're at 1526 this week we're at 1929 and the total revenue goal was 1750 and we were at 66.19 and I don't have that number. Hold on. So that brings us to 38% of our total revenue goal. So still a long way to go and it's really a hard time of the year because we are doing a lot of closet clear out and getting rid of um, things, kind of going through the inventory. Um, as far as platforms, our biggest platform still is Poshmark with 21 sales, $305.44. Macari is next up with $40.21 for one item. eBay, we had four sales, $114.22. And then whatnot, we had $133.40 in sales. So... Here we go. Goals for next week or action steps. Um, we are doing live shows on whatnot every day. We have two shows um, and they are clear out shows. So low starts. We have a women's contemporary show at 11 p.m. each night with a one dollar start. And then during the day, I think we're going to it's currently at either five or seven so it seems like five gets more traffic than seven so i mean 7 p.m eastern gets more traffic than five so i think we'll settle on five but we rotate between plus size men's kids and maternity and those shows varying start prices so if you are new to whatnot or have never heard of whatnot it is a live action action live auction website and i'll link my information down below you can get 15 dollars off of your first purchase on whatnot and if you can't find anything that you like with me there are thousands of other great sellers on whatnot you are sure to find something that you love so um live shows um list more the goal is to list 100 items i have struggled i i don't know why i can't get myself together but i am going to really set a plan and just sit down and list daily promoting on macari 10 items a day we're still running 50 percent off on depop um and also on depop i am sending an offer to likers every time someone likes it so they get a little bit more off and then we're listing daily on eBay as well on our new eBay site so that is what we are working on to get closer to goal and our reseller business let me know in the comments what you are doing to get to your goals as we end the the we kind of get ready to wrap out 2023 and I will see you in the next one bye friends